I'm Robin Ferner, and I'm a physician from Birmingham who trained as a clinical pharmacologist as well as a general physician. And throughout my time as a consultant, I've worked in the National Health Service with a teaching commitment to the university. And I've been doing that for over 20 years now and been a clinical pharmacologist for almost 30 years. Uh, I was lucky enough to be chosen by the British Pharmacological Society as the Lilly Prize lecturer for this year. And I chose to lecture on harms from medicines, which is an aspect of medicines which I think is probably understudied. I spoke about harms from medicines under three headings. Adverse drug reactions, which are more commonly known as side effects. So, for example, if you take an aspirin tablet for a headache and you get tummy ache, the tummy ache is an adverse effect. And what you suffer is the adverse reaction. And particularly with a colleague in Oxford, Jeff Aronson, we've thought a lot about adverse drug reactions as harms from drugs. And uh, it seems to us that you can look at them in different ways, but it's important to look at the dose of the drug and how that affects the chances of getting an adverse drug reaction. It's important to look at the time course of the reaction. So some adverse drug reactions occur very soon after you take a drug. And it's also important to look at why some people get adverse drug reactions and others don't. So I spoke about adverse drug reactions, but I also spoke about what is a problem that clinical pharmacologists tend to sweep under the carpet, which is medication errors, mistakes and slips and lapses that people make when they use drugs, getting the dose wrong by a factor of 10 because they've done their sums wrong, picking up one drug when they're meant to pick up another drug because the names are similar and uh, giving a drug into a vein when it should have been given down a nasogastric tube, for example. These errors are very important, firstly because whilst we think they should be pre preventable, somehow we don't manage to prevent them. And because they uh, give a bad impression to everyone of doctors and the medical caring services. The third aspect I spoke about, which is a particular interest of mine, uh, was poisoning. And I concentrated particularly on criminal poisoning, mainly murder. And I've been involved in cases where poisons were used. And I spoke uh, in some detail about two cases, uh, one where a nurse gave insulin to patients, four of whom died, and where it was proven that insulin was administered uh, to one of the victims. And the other, a rather unusual murder, where a herbal drug called aconite was used uh, by a lover to murder her man when he ran off with another woman and both these were technically interesting and had a certain uh, audience appeal.